Now, you know, action movie fans will know the war room. It's a setup that everybody's very familiar with, the headquarters style setup where the ultimate crisis of national importance is monitored from start to finish. So uh, train commuters experience serious train safety issues. They are their day-to-day -day reality. And National Transport Minister Figi Mbalula will today launch a ministerial war room into Prasa, which will monitor train journey logistics and infrastructure issues at the rail agency. Here to tell us more, and I suppose this will be uh, today in politics, Transport Ministry spokeswoman, uh, Anda Ali Payne, Welcome, Miranda. Good morning. Thank you very much for having me. Thank it's you. It's a pleasure. Good morning. So what will the war room entail? How will it work? So just to give you a little bit of context, Googs, the war room is going to be a monitoring and evaluation tool. It will also be an enabler of those turnaround strategies that Prasa has had but has struggled to implement. So not even with the current uh, Minister of Transport, but with his predecessor, Dr. Bladen Zimande, and possibly before then. There have been a number of interventions to try and turn around the state of Prasa to make sure the trains arrive on time, that there's no dilapidation of infrastructure, that there's safety and security. So these plans were devised and put in place. And Minister Mbalula said, we don't want to reinvent the wheel or go back wasting time trying to put together a turnaround strategy when it's there. What we need to do is infuse the spirit of Kauleza to make sure that there's um, expediency in the implementation and in this turnaround strategy. So the war room, in essence, like you uh, said in the movie analogy, will have officials who know about rolling stock, who know about signaling, who are able to monitor and pick up problems before they become uh, crises or disasters. And on a daily basis, make sure that there's implementation. Because, you know, uh, the best laid plans of mice and men often do go awry. We're great at making plans, but when it comes to the daily implementation, that's where we struggle. So in essence, the war room will monitor on a day-to-day -day basis, looking at those screens, looking at the footprint of our trains, where they are, what's happening, where are the problem areas, how are we doing, and are we, in fact, meeting those targets? So we're quite excited about that. We see it as a game-changer in the rail transportation sector. You know what else, right? It's more than just the rail transportation sector. I think it could be a game-changer in transportation as a whole, right? There's a couple of things that trains can achieve that buses can't, that mini minibus taxis definitely can't. One, when you travel with a train, is straight line. Right, so shortest distance in two points, all is a straight line. You don't have to go through traffic stops. There's never any issues of mm. take a short left, there's a roadblock. That, if you can get this right, talk to, to safety, yeah. right? And also in terms of the trains arriving timelessly, uh, maybe once every, I don't know how much, how, what, what, what the day is now, right? Like maybe every 10 minutes or whatever is a new train leaving. This can actually sort out a lot of our problems that we face as a country. Then the question would be, why don't we redirect some of the funds from, I don't know, the taxi industry towards the rail system? And maybe, I don't know, make sure you get more trains, get more tracks, and definitely more stations. Mm -hmm. Is that somewhere in the plan maybe for the departments? What are your thoughts on that? I think what you're talking about is the integration of the transport system. So how do I make sure that when I step out of my house, there's transport to take me to the next uh, station that perhaps is a train station that will then feed into, um, I don't know, the BRT system that will then take me back so that there is um, ease of travel. You'll know that transport is the, you know, the heartbeat of not only economic development, but also social development. You know, if we can get transport right, we're able to fix the country in essence, you know, with the pun, of course, being on fix, Mr. Fix It now mm -hmm. is what uh, Minister Mbalula is known as. And if we, we can get that right, we're able to unlock so many other avenues. So, yes, we are looking into integration of services to make sure that the commuter has the best possible experience. When you speak about train and, and how important trains are, trains are also affordable. You know, they're one of the most affordable uh, modes of transport. And I think this is why commuters still, even though many of them have left and, and focus on other uh, modes of transport, they still stay loyal, even when the, the trains are delayed, even when they know that it's not safe. Because, you know, at the end of the day, in these tough economic times when we have 29% unemployment, you need to save where you can. And, and, and I think that's why rail is still so important. We can't put it on the back burner much. Yes, we must focus on buses. Yes, we must focus on taxis. But this is quite a critical component, especially for the majority of South Africans in our country. There used to be people, actually, when I was younger, who drive to a train station, leave yeah. their car there, and then get on the train and go to work. Mm -hmm. Just because it was so economical. People I don't do know if it still happens. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. People do that with the car train now. Yeah. Just a final question before we wrap up. I know the minister was talking about the turnaround time to begin fixing the railway system. He mentioned two years is kind of the deadline he's been given. Is that the, the kind of time frame we're working with? Very short deadlines to start seeing some improvements in the railway system? Look, we're looking for tangible results within the first 100 days of the ministers uh, uh, being in office. And that is because when we say that the, the plans are there, 
You know, the plans are there in black and white. All we need to do is, uh, in, like I said, infuse that spirit of Kaoleza to make sure that there's implementation and this daily monitoring through the war room will be able to do that. Three objectives of this war room, service recovery to make sure that they're on time arrivals. We're looking at the modernization of the fleet there as well. People can't be traveling in trains with no windows. They can't be traveling in trains with no seats. You know, we're also looking at ways to ensure that safety and security. It can't be a gamble to get on the platform and you wonder whether or not you're going to arrive on time. RSR and their strict um, uh, measures to try and make sure that their safety need to also be implemented. So PRASA needs to make sure that they're able to come to the table and, and really make sure that there's a good quality, efficient, effective and affordable service for South Africans. Mm. Anna, thank you so much for joining thank us this morning. Thank you so much morning. for having us. That's uh, the Transport Ministry spokesperson, Ayanda Ali Payne. Your thoughts on uh, the war room to be announced later on on Prasa. Send us your thoughts at 4 or 5 mornings. The hashtag is Breaking Dawn on 405.